Hey everybody, Jay down here in Belize again. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a Belize update, so I um, thought I'd uh, do another video. As you can see behind me, I had to drain the pool again, or at least partially drain it. I had a problem with the pool lights. As you can see by the orange stains, um, had some rust. And as it turns out, my contractor did not use stainless steel screws to mount those lights, and they completely rusted out and fell off. So I had to drain the pool, redrill the holes, get some stainless steel bolts in there, and I also uh, covered them in marine epoxy just for some added protection. And um, hopefully that'll be cured here um, in a few hours and I can start refilling the pool again. Although I probably won't be able to fill it all the way because we have another repair project, or design flaw I should say. We don't have a skimmer anywhere on this pool. Uh, my contractor thought that because I had this infinity wall here that that would serve the function as a skimmer, but it does not. Um, what ends up happening is everything floats over towards the infinity wall, but it never goes over. It just gets caught here um, and it just sits there in the pool. So I'll have a big, a big pool of debris just kind of floating around there. So um, we're going to saw cut into the side of the pool here. You can see I've got the plastic skimmer down there already. And... Um, We'll saw cut in, embed the skimmer in the side, re-concrete, and then I've got a new bullnose tile that'll go over the top of it, cover it back up again. And then we just need to connect our plumbing into the pump house. Um, fortunately, we've got this exposed part of the wall here. Um, if it weren't for that, we would actually have to uh, saw cut and chop into the finished patio over here, which would have been a lot worse. Um, a lot, lot worse, because I don't have enough tiles to repair all that. Um, so hopefully all will go well with that. Um, I guess um, a note to everybody out there, if you're ever doing a pool in a foreign country, um, make sure your pool builder really knows how to design build these things. Um, you know, not just, it's more than just pouring a bunch of concrete. Um, there's a, a lot of things, complex things to consider here. You may want to even have a consultant come down from your home country um, or at least buy some plans and specifications online um, that are pre-approved so that you know you're getting a design build that is going to fully function. So that's my uh, added tips um, and uh, I'll try to do some more Belize updates uh, for folks that are interested so stay tuned.